it's almost time for AA! Good evening YouTube, it's Mike Grimlock and I am back again. Today I'm not doing a review, I'm doing a response video to Timey to Wimey's video that he did the other day about auto assembly hopes and fears. But before I go into that, I just want to do a little bit of BG. Not enough to do you harm, as Ray would say. Sorry for nicking your catchphrase there, mate. I've basically been in Transformers my entire life. Started when I was three or four when I got my first sea spray and has continued ever since. Although, I've only really got into collecting in the last year or so. For a long time before that, I was watching YouTube, um, watching people like the Collector 75, Wolfgang One, a um, few other ones whose name escaped me completely now. Uh, and I've been watching it for a long time. It was finally October last year when I decided I was going to start making my own videos. I'm sure if any of you have actually watched some of my earlier ones, you, you, you're amazed that I keep going. They're still pretty much shambolic today, but at least I think I've still got my own little style going on now. One thing that really opened my eyes was like, the level of community you get on YouTube. I always thought it was just a video site, you went on to watch things. I didn't realise there was lots of other like-minded souls who knew stuff that you knew and you could talk to and, and it was great. So when I started getting some comments on my videos, I just thought it was like heaven. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. And and since then, since October last year, it's, it's snowballed and I'm now up to 95 subscribers. Um, I seem to have lost 8 uh, and gained some, which has now taken me up to 95. I'm obviously just too awesome for the ones who couldn't hack it, you know. <laughs> Ray, I know I'm not wearing green, but I thought you might appreciate the green tattoo. So that basically brings me on to A, and what I want to get out of A this year, and my hopes and fears for it. Okay, I only really found out about A, like, a couple of years ago, uh, and it never really struck me as something I wanted to go to, um, purely because... I was a massive Transformers fan and I like the comics and I love the cartoons but I, I never really took it further than that it, like I said before it was only when I started collecting um, Christmas time really when I got my first my, my first proper toy yeah it was only after it was only after that that I realised that there was such a, such a thing as it and, and Ellen looked into it and what it was and realised I couldn't really afford to go but after doing all my YouTube videos and getting comments and making some really great friends I hope. A became something that I really, really wanted to go to. So I've sold off all my retro games collection and I had a lot. And I've got some money. And I'm coming. And I can't wait! First and foremost, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is meeting you lot. I just can't, I honestly can't wait to just meet some like minded souls. There's not many people around Newcastle who I know who like Transformers, so just being in a room with other people who know what you're talking about and don't just like look at you like you're a grown man playing with plastic. You know, it's going to be awesome. There's a few people in particular I'm really looking forward to meeting. Uh, Ed, Bumblejumper82, pretty much the first person to comment on any of my videos. Uh, honestly, mate, can't wait to meet you and there's going to be a pint or nine get sunk, I can tell you, on the Saturday night. Ben, Juice 84, can't wait to meet you, mate. It's going to be great. We'll get a bit of football talk squeezed in there if we can. Jim, Monkeys on TV, what more can be said about you, mate? I can't wait, can't wait to meet you. Nolte, stalwart of the Transformers YouTube community, can't wait to meet you, mate. And Ray, how could, I, how could anybody on YouTube do any sort of Transformers-related video without mentioning Ray? He's the green linchpin that holds us together. I was really looking forward to meeting Gerard, Wolfgang One, and uh, Mr. John John, but apparently neither of them can make it this year, which is a bit, a bit of a pain in the arse, really. But hopefully next year, although I don't know where I'm going to get the money from. With regards to the actual convention itself, I've never been to a convention, so I'm, I'm really quite looking forward to it. It's going to be a, an experience, I think. I'm really looking forward to meeting Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. That's going to be awesome. Definitely, definitely awesome. I've got some things I want to get signed, and I've just ordered Dan Gilverson's book as well, so hopefully I'm going to have had that read through before I get there, so I'll have some things to say. I always get tongue-tied with celebrities, I can never say anything to them other than, uh, mind you, I'm not as bad as Mrs. Grimlock, who met her idol once and just pointed at him and said his name. I, th I think that went down well. 
Oh, I'm also looking forward to getting my ass handed to me a bot shot by probably everyone and their dog. Yield to me your secret sword, shiny plastic man. I still kind of figure that game out. I'm looking forward to seeing lots and lots of toys. Mmm, plastic toys. Lots and lots of them all in one place. And I'm also really, really looking forward to uh, having a good old drink with everybody in the bar and just having a good crack. That's really it, to be fair. There's not really much else I want. Want from it? I don't. I don't really know exactly what to expect. I'm not really scared of anything. I just want to get there, get some drinks, get some toys, have some crack. I don't really have any fears for auto assembly. To be fair, I'm I'm a pretty laid back guy. I'm not really scared about going into a place full of people I've never met before. One thing I am actually quite scared of is that I accidentally end up in the festival of quilts. And enjoy it. Time for a list, methinks. This is blatantly going to change on a day to day basis, but there are a few things that I'm definitely keeping an eye out for. With me having pretty much no collection to speak of, except for what I've got on these shelves here. And to be fair, they're mostly like Energon and Prime stuff. I'll be looking for quite a bit of G1 stuff, I think. First thing I need, and I do need, need this desperately, is Scamper's gun from Metroplex and also Metroplex's missiles. If I can get them, then I've got a complete boxed Metroplex and I will be chuffed to bits. Second thing I'm going to be looking for is the Reveal the Shield Perceptor because I absolutely love the look of him and probably I'll look for a G1 one as well to be fair. I like Perceptor, he's cool. He's a proper geek. He's a geek in a world of geeks among geeks. Yes. Number three on my list, Cybertron Optimus Prime or Galaxy Force Optimus Prime, whichever one's there, whichever one I can afford. He looks to me like he's one of the most awesome Optimus Primes ever, and I love the the style of him, and I really quite enjoy the Cybertron and Energon lines, and the Armada lines to a certain extent as well, so I'll be looking for a few things like that. Number two on my list, I've got him on my arm, I'm looking for a Devastator, absolutely desperate for a Devastator. Actually, I'm really annoyed because Kapow Toys had one on for 70 quid the other day, and I went to pre-order it, and it had gone very annoyed about that but I'll be keeping my eyes peeled at auto assembly to see if I can pick that one up and number one on my list and I will definitely be looking for this is a complete set of Dinobots it goes without saying a mighty Grimlock I, I, I need to have a Grimlock in my life I used to when I was a kid and I haven't had one for a long time except for the Generations 1 and animated and what have you so I definitely definitely will be looking for Grimlock and hopefully be able to complete the rest of the set while I'm there for not too much money probably not Right, basically that's it. That's that's my hopes, that's my fears, that's my wants. I'm going to be going to auto assembly on the Saturday and Sunday. I'm staying in the Hilton on the Saturday night. Uh, so if anybody sees me, come and talk to me. You can't miss this hair. Also, I'm quite tall. I'm six foot four, and I've got size 15 feet, and I'm a big lad. And really, you'll not miss this. So please do come and talk to me. Come and have a crack. Um, we'll just get drunk. <sighs> Why not? That's a kind of point, isn't it? Or has the point just completely gone over my head? I don't know. To say I was getting excited about auto assembly now is probably the biggest understatement ever. Auto assembly, auto assembly, water assembly. Mrs. Grimlock is getting a little bit annoyed with me constantly talking about it. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to auto assembly and I cannot wait. But yes, hopefully I will see everybody at auto assembly. As I'm filming this, it's 35 days till AA. Get in! Got 35 more days to lose this belly. Right, this has been Mighty Grimlock. That's been my AA noobs, hopes and fears and aspirations and how I want to live my life video. I hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you all again soon. Bye! How good is the personal hygiene section of the auto assembly info pack? It had me wetting myself, although I am now a little fearful of what lies in store. Perhaps a peg to the nose.